see a lot of heavy rain. We should have guessed, really. Rumbles of thunder by about 6.30 this morning across the London area. And some of that rain really was quite intense indeed. In fact, it brought a couple of inches of rain in just the space of two hours. So the heaviest of the rainfall first thing this morning, well, that was across the London area. The rumbles of thunder, the heavy rain started to drift its way steadily north as we went through the day. And actually, we've still got some wet weather hanging around at the moment, sitting across northern England, gradually drifting its way into eastern Scotland. And it will linger through the night here. So we've got some rain across eastern Scotland. At the same time, the next low starting to wind its way in from the southwest, driving in some sharp showers. Sandwiched in between the two, we could see some low clouds, some mist and some fog forming. But once again, it's going to be a very mild night. Many of us seeing double figures to greet us first thing tomorrow morning. But we've got this next Catherine wheel of low pressure sitting out to the southwest. It's going to be flicking up these weather fronts around that low. Plenty of sharp showers to look out for again tomorrow, and some of them heavy and thundery. So sharp showers into the southwest gradually drifting their way steadily north and east. So nowhere immune from those showers as we go through the day tomorrow. They will rattle through at quite a pace as we see strong winds maybe gusting in excess of 50 miles an hour on exposed southwest coast. But look at the temperatures, still very mild as we head towards the end of October. We're looking at around 18 or 19 degrees the high. Here's the start of the weekend. One front drifting away. This little bump in the ice of ours here, that's a ridge of high pressure quietening things down before the next Catherine wheel of low pressure and frontal systems start to push in. And because the winds swing round from an anti-clockwise direction, the wind coming from the south, so it's driving up this incredibly mild air right across the country. So as we go into the start of the weekend, not a bad start for many across England and Wales. Dry, settled and sunny, the best part of the weekend really. There will be showers across Scotland and into Northern Ireland and eventually by the end of the day, here we go again, the next low starts to move in, the rumbles of thunder perhaps starting to develop as well. And once again, those temperatures still pretty mild for this time of year. So for the second half of the weekend and into next week, we keep that mild theme, but we see showers or longer spells of rain. It stays pretty stormy, not just in Westminster, across the UK generally. Sophie.